Today we're going to be doing a video tutorial about imaging larger objects uh, with the Macropod. For this example, we are going to be imaging this large green beetle. We're going to stack 50 exposures through the left side of this beetle, and then 50 exposures through the right side. When this is complete, then we're going to combine the two stacked images together to form one panoramic image. The first thing you want to do is open EOS, and then you want to create a folder where your images are going to be sent as you're taking images with the Macropod. When you're finished doing that, you want to position the beetle so that the field of view includes the left side of the beetle, or at least whichever side you'd like to do first. Then you'll want to choose your starting point and your ending point, and in this case we're going to capture 50 pictures along the z-axis. If we're working with a larger object, it's important to block out light that's emitted from the flash heads. So we're going to take that sticky film that came with your macropod and we're going to cut off a little portion to block out any direct light that's going to hit the beetle directly. Then we're going to add a little sliver of paper so that the bottom of the beetle is well illuminated. And then we're going to add our styrofoam cup, which will diffuse 100% of all the light. After I've finished capturing images of the first frame, I'm simply going to add a 1 at the end of this folder so that any more images I take that are going to be in frame 2 will be in their own, will be added to their own folder. Then I want to slide the specimen over along the x-axis making sure that the knuckle and this darker region here are still visible within the frame after I slide it over to the left. You'll need an overlap uh, for when you're going to stitch the two images together. And now I want to go ahead and stack these images in the same fashion as I did uh, with my first set of images. Once I've done that, I want to open Adobe Bridge and navigate to where I stored um, the output images after I stacked each frame in Serene Stacker. Then you'll want to copy and paste the output images so that both the left side and the right side outputs are included within the same folder. Once the two images are stored together, you'll want to highlight both of them, then navigate to Tools, Photoshop, and then Photo Merge, and then you'll be prompted with your next instruction. This box shows the images that you selected. Once open, you want to hit Reposition, and Photoshop will do the rest for you. So this image was stitched from two individual frames, but the more you play with this, you'll learn that there really is no limit. At any magnification, you can have 10 frames by 10 frames, um, which are all stacked, and you can stitch these together to form one really enormous image. Thank you very much for listening.